Happy MLK Day, guys. Monday morning. Came over here to Danny Dangers to check on the progress of the old white coupe. Sean got his headlights ordered and they're in. He's got the smoke lights. We're getting the gaps set on the hood and the fenders and the doors and everything right now. Should be done here pretty soon on this part at least. Got to come up on some spats, 91, 93 spats. But she is definitely coming along. The car already runs and drives good. Now it's just a matter of getting this finished, installing all the rest of the trim and the interior, uh, black tweed. It's going to be beautiful, man. This car is going to be awesome. And then we got a Powerdyne BD11A supercharger we're going to put on it as well. So basically, once I've got it running great and everything's legit, then I'll tear it back apart to do the supercharger upgrade. I can't wait to do that, man. This car is going to be so much more fun to drive, especially now that it's a T5 swap, so manual trans instead of the auto that it was originally. We've got that transmission tunnel in place. The extension for the T5 hump, which we're actually doing on Project Myrtle today as well. We kill all AODs. We swap them all. No, no fun at all in an automatic AOD 5 liter Mustang. I'm sorry. Maybe in a convertible, maybe in a cruiser, but not for us. Nope, we swap them all. That's the final stages of this swap. Some moldings on it, some trims back on it. It's gonna be a car soon. So this is our Monday morning update with this old car. And he hasn't figured out a name for it yet. You guys need to help me out in the comment section. Type in what you think, what would you call this car? A 93, white on black tweed, 505 speed. What would you call it? The refrigerator? Ah, uh, nah. Whitey Ford? Probably not. Cracker? I like Cracker. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Help the man out, he can't figure out a name for it yet. All right guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned. Many more things coming for this car. Can't wait to destroy the tires out there. Sorry Sean, but uh, that's how we test things around here. And with the addition of 6,000 square foot of concrete coming in, there's definitely going to be uh, plenty of room to do that. Picture in the burnouts about there. Round and round that goes. So I heard you were getting new tires anyway. That's good. That's good, because I think these are all messed up. I believe they're showing belts already. Let me check. Oh yeah, they're in terrible condition. Awful. They're obviously on their last leg, so with about seven pounds of boost, it ought to finish the job off. All right, guys, enjoy your day. Hopefully you got time off, some of you at least. Not forced to be at work with the holiday today. No, the mail's not running. All right, everybody, tune in next time.